In this video, we are going to see how to install a car battery or a big battery in a small UPS. Let's get into the video. For me, I buy a Amaran Quanta battery which is 12V and 26AH. Let's unbox it. Unbox Panidla. Inside the box, we have warranty card, battery and a set of clamps. To connect the terminals of the battery. There are two lids for the two terminals in the battery. Let's remove it. Things we need to connect this battery to the UPS is a pair of wires, black and red color, a pair of nut and bolt called clamps and a leg to connect the wires into the battery. Let's unsleeve the wire. After you have removed the sleeve from the wire, place the leg in the wire like this and tighten that wire with a cutting blade. Clamp with legs for two wires in a single side and unsleeve the wires on the other side to connect it to the small UPS. After the leg was tightened with the wire, use a tape to cover the wire and the leg connecting area. First, let's connect the wire to the UPS and then we can connect it to the battery. After opening the UPS, you will have the battery inside the UPS. Remove the two wires from the battery which is inside the UPS. Then remove the battery. Remove the two sleeves of the wire inside the UPS as shown and connect the two terminals of the wire to the UPS. So join the red wire with the red wire in the UPS and black wire with the black wire in the UPS. Tighten the wire with the UPS wire and then tape it thoroughly. We have connected the wire to the UPS. Now we can connect the wire to the battery. Take the red wire with the end connected to a leg and insert it into the clamp. Insert the clamp inside the positive terminal of the battery. Ensure it's got tightened well. Please be careful. Red wire is for positive and black wire is for negative. Do the same for the negative terminal also. If you connect the negative terminal to the battery, just be conscious. If you touch the black wire to the battery, there will be a small spark. Ignore it. That's not at all a problem. Go ahead and connect the black wire to the negative terminal of the battery. The connection has been completed. It's time to on the UPS. Close the terminals of the battery with the respected lids. Once again verify the connection. Red wire to the positive terminal of the battery and to the red wire in the UPS. Black wire to the negative terminal of the battery and to the black wire in the UPS. If it's done then go ahead turn on the UPS. I have connected an LED to check the UPS is working properly. Let's turn on the UPS and also the power cable from the UPS. You should handle it carefully because if you on the UPS you should not touch the cable. There will be reverse current on it. Let's turn on the UPS. The LED is turning on and the UPS is stable. Ok, let's connect it to the power source. Now it's charging. I have tested it for 2 days. It takes 2 days to charge this battery. Because inside the UPS we have a small battery. So the output from the UPS will be very small amount of current. Which takes 2 days to charge this kind of 26AH battery. I have connected it to the computer. This works fine. I had a backup time of 3 hours. With full load I am having 1 hour. Ok, that's it for this video guys. Hope this information is helpful. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.